Mr. Denman has a dislocated shoulder and there's also the possibility of liver damage. We're monitoring him, so I need half-hourly SATS checks, please. He's the one who jumped off the train. No, he jumped on, fell off. I'll get some analgesia before we put the shoulder back. Your shoulder? You're in pain? And you're in a breeze. I'll put it back for you. Uh, won't hurt, will it? Of course not. Uh, go for it. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to get up, you just go down, relax. I'm just going to do this. Breathe with me. One, two, three. Uh, done. Uh, there you go. Yeah, uh, OK, uh, thanks. Uh, I'll expect them. Sister Petrenko, did you just put his shoulder back? Yes, he will need a collar and a cuff. That looked pain-free. Oh, uh, yes. You want to tell me how you did it? Manipulation. No, I know how it's done. I want to know how you did it painlessly. Oh, I have a method. You want to share it? I talk. Go on. This is not my technique. A woman in Ukraine taught me how to do it. A doctor? A kind of a doctor, yes. Put the shoulder out again. Sister Petrenko. Valentine. Both of you. Why not? OK, gather round. Uh, Mr. Denman has put his shoulder out again for the second time. Now, Sister Petrenko put it back in earlier, and I'm not quite sure how she accomplished that, given that she did it with no pain relief and no obvious signs of distress to the patient. So, we're all here to learn. OK. So, there are people who can do this, and there are other people who cannot. There was a woman in Ukraine who showed me how to do this. It is mind over matter. You tell the patient he will not feel any pain, and he will not feel any pain. But you have to believe it yourself, otherwise he will not believe it. So you say it is going to be easy, uh, it will only take a second, it will not hurt, etc., etc. You make it up yourself, and you look at the patient all the time you're talking. You make him believe. It's like hypnosis. Yes? So you just make it up. Any volunteers? Dr. Valentine? OK. Mr. Denman, uh, I'm going to get one of our junior doctors to put your shoulder back in, if that's OK with you. Can you move that? Mm -hmm. Thanks. OK, Mr. Denman, um, I'm just going to pop your shoulder back in. So if you look at me, that's right, you just keep your hand, eyes on me. This won't hurt, it's a painless procedure. Hi! Oh. I am sorry, uh, dislocations can be a problem sometimes, especially for our junior doctors. Uh, look, I'll get you some pain relief and I'll come and do it for you in a bit, okay? She can do it. I will show you. Do not worry, it will not be painful. One, two, it's done. <laughs> Just keep it this way. I think you could do this. It is not only about the technique, it is um, about something else. Dusha. Okay. Dusha or oh, five milligrams of morphine, IV. Okay, I'll just get some pain relief. Uh, Sister Tranko? Yes, in a moment. You've got a problem there, haven't you? What makes you say that? It's obvious. She enjoys winding you up. I think we'll have you monitored every half hour. You're a doctor. She's a nurse. Why don't you just give her a bollocking? Yeah, well, there are rules about that sort of thing. And you always play by the rules, do you? Mm. 
Yeah, I am. Um, I've been meaning to talk to you about it. Things aren't getting any better between the two of you, are they? And whose fault is that? She deliberately humiliated me in front of nurses, my brother, and you. It can't be good for morale on the ward when junior staff see a doctor deliberately undermined by a nurse. And it's the atmosphere on the ward that particularly concerns you? Yes. Rather than the personal aspect? I can handle that. They're one and the same, aren't they? My point is, if I have a go at her about this, then it is going to look personal. Whereas if I talk to her, it's a question of ward management? Yes. But maybe it's a cultural thing. English is her second language. I can't really take it a task for that, can I? She's a good nurse. And she's probably going to be on AAU a lot longer than you are, so... Try and make allowances. You have to find a way of working together. I have to. You both have to. OK. What did you think of the uh, dislocation technique? Uh, pretty impressive, no? Somewhere between psychology and witchcraft? Somewhere between. See? You both do it. Is it good? Hey. You know what? Perhaps it is just me. Oh, if I knew what you meant, I'd tell you. I know. It's just a frostbite over there. It seems to be her mission in life to put me down. Tricky, as usual. No, trickier. If there's a way of making me look bad, she will find it. Really? I thought she'd thawed a bit today. She called me with Mr. Pearson's notes. Oh, yes, I had noticed that she had a lot of time for you. Oh, come on. But she did like to make my life difficult. Look, she might not be the sunniest person we know, but maybe it's something else. Meaning? I don't know. Cultural differences? Oh, not you too, Ollie. Oliver? Ah, yeah. You've gone for the notes. Yeah, thank you. Oh, is there something wrong with your eye? It looks very inflamed. It's quite red. Let's do something about that. Oh, great. Thank you. It should just take a second. Yeah, right. There we go. It's just an eyelash, it's nothing. Yeah. Okay. Black coffee and muffin. Thanks. Hey, what you said about. Do you alright? Yeah, fine. Good. Frida Petrenko, I've been thinking. And what were you thinking? She asked me for a drink this evening. Oh, really? Well, I knocked her back, of course, but I was thinking maybe I should take her up on the offer and tell her the problem, see what she says. I don't need you to fight my battles for me, Ollie. I'm not going to go in swinging, just a, a glass of wine, talk to the subject a bit, you know, a subtle approach. The subtle approach doesn't work with her. And what would you suggest? I don't know. Try telling her she's a cow. She's pretty good with insults. OK, Nick? Nick? He's unconscious, he's tachycardic, and BP's low 140. Yeah, he's decompensated. It could be an intra-abdominal injury. That sound right? Yeah, he's under observation, suspected liver damage. Yeah, it's possible then. Yeah. Okay, mask? Yeah. Okay. High flow, oxygen on. Right, we're gonna need to get two big lines into him. Yeah. Nick, come on, stay with us. All right, abdomen's distended. He'd be dropping 80 for 40. I can't get into his vein. Me neither. He's totally shut down. We have to try the external jugular. Grey cannula. Could you help me? Please? Good call. Get his head down. Turn down the blow position. Yeah. OK? OK, Nick. Stay with us. Thank you. Right, we're getting on top of this. BP's improving. 100 over 80. Must be a little laceration. Yeah, be my guess too. Hey, that was good work. It was good work. Getting prepped. Somebody page them colonies to this, please. Okay, tape. Tape, yeah. What happened? We're going to get you to theatre and find out. A great dream. Surfing the maglev. What's that? Fastest train in the world. Awesome. It's me. Look, Frida's in with Mr. Cullen. We're short staff. She's going to have to wait around for agency cover. Yeah, so she just asked me to tell you that she um, she's not going to be able to make that drink? I was just wondering, um, do you fancy watching a movie? Yeah? OK, six o'clock. I'll see you there. Lovely, bye.
large vodka, please. Uh, uh, let me get that. It is not necessary. I know it's not necessary, but uh, let me anyway. I'm waiting for a friend. Your wait is over. Here I am. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I am. I'm celebrating. Fantastic offer of a new job just came in today, so hmm, probably going to take it. Can't celebrate alone. Mm, no? <laughs> no. No. Perhaps another time. Yes. Great. Good. Mm. Look forward to it. Uh, vodka, but not vodka. I want to apologize. Ah, Dr. Valentine. I hear you witnessed Sister Petrenko's sleight of hand today. <laughs> oh, no, no, she didn't tell me. It's all round the hospital. With her, a click, a click. With you, a scream, a scream. <laughs> it's a knack, is it? Anyone can do it. Right, you just knew, Dusha. Dusha, yes. You've come to apologize? For Oliver, yeah, um, he's running late. He just wanted me to let you know. Oh, but he'll come. Yes, he'll be here. Then I will wait. You do that. But in the meantime... <laughs> mm. Vodka. Hey, what movie were we going to see? Oh, so did we get there? Cool. Chinese first? Yeah, if you like. Indian? Uh, whatever. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> No, it's Russian. <laughs> anyway, no one says it. Budmo. What does that mean? <sighs> You're round. Oh. 